Windows 11 Update 24H2. Microsoft has released its big fall 2024 update for Windows 11, code named 24H2, and it brings with it a host of updates and fixes that should make your Windows experience a bit better. Microsoft staggers big updates over several weeks or months, so you may not see it unless you're diligently checking for Windows updates and also keeping the get the latest updates as soon as they're available settings switched on. The easiest way to check and see what version of Windows 11 you're running is to hit the start button and type Windows 11, Windows Info, and then select Windows specifications from results. This, was op this will open up the About page on your system settings where you can see what edition and what version of Windows 11 you're running. There are many changes and fixes aiming at making Windows better, like Wi-Fi 7 support, as well as some new features to try. Some of the new features are exclusively available for Copilot Plus PCs, like the new Windows Recall feature, live captions, and some advanced graphic upgrades. But you don't need a fancy Copilot Plus PC to take advantage of new upgrades in the latest versions of Windows. No matter what PC you have, there are five new Windows 11 features you should check out. And maybe these are the compelling reasons why you should be upgrading to Windows 11. Feature number one is the updated phone link. Windows 11 has had an anemic phone link app for some time that lets you wirelessly connect your Android or iOS smartphone to your PC to check messages. With the 24H2 update, it gets a lot better. That is, if you have an Android phone. Sadly, iPhones are stuck with just a phone link app on the taskbar showing your notifications. However, Android users can send and receive messages from their Windows 11 PC, remotely browse phones, the phone's files, and see a live status display, connect status, as well as recent messages in your start menu. You also can use your Android smartphone camera as a webcam by digging into settings, Bluetooth plus devices, mobile devices. Feature number two, new quick settings menu. Open the quick settings menu, which you can do by clicking on the Wi-Fi icon in the notification area of your taskbar. When you do, you should notice that the usual simplified interface has been expanded and given pages, which you now can scroll through using your mouse or by clicking the arrow icons on the right hand side of the menu. This chain basically gives you easy access to all the tools in your quick settings menu instead of limiting it to, to what you put there. The value is that Microsoft can keep adding toes, tools and can just and you can just scroll down to access them instead of having to dig into the edit quick settings tool to add them manually. Feature number three, energy savings mode. Once you get your 24H2 update, you may notice a new energy saving button on your quick settings menu, which is basically a better version of the existing battery saver mode. The existing battery saver in Windows 11 was only available on laptops and when enabled, it tried to reduce power consumption by doing things like dimming the screen and limiting background, background app activity. That's now been replaced by the Energy Saver mode, which is available on both laptops and desktops, so you can use it to cut your power bills as well as extend battery life. This is part of Microsoft's ongoing effort to make Windows more eco-friendly and in settings, power, I'm sorry, in settings, systems, power, and battery menu, you'll find a wealth of options that you can 
fine tune how much power your device draws when plugged in and when on the new energy and when on the new energy saving mode. Feature number four, the upgraded Wi-Fi menu. Now this is one of the smallest new features uh, in Windows 11, and that's the button in the Wi-Fi menu that allows you to refresh your view of available Wi-Fi networks. If that sounds like a minor feature, it is which is why it's been so incredibly frustrating to be using Windows laptops on Wi-Fi the past few years. There has been so many times where you try to connect to your phone's hotspot in a crowded conference room or hotel, only to be frustrated by a deluge of other Wi-Fi networks that fill up your available network's queue. In the past, you may have had to disable and re and enable your Wi-Fi laptop several times to refresh the list of networks so you can find the one you want. The new feature allows you to hit the refresh button on the Wi-Fi networks whenever needed. A small but welcome upgrade to Windows. Feature number five, new file compression tools. Fire up File Explorer and you may notice a few new features to play with, including a new set of compression tools that lets you just not just compress to a .zip, but also now a .tar and a .7z. This effectively ends the long dark age where Windows users have been in, in regards to file compression. The new feature ends having to download something like 7 zip every time you needed to pack or unpack files in anything but a .rar, but this Windows 11 update unlocks Windows' ability to unzip .7z files. And while you're fooling around in File Explorer, note another new feature in 24H2, and that is text labels on the copy on the cut, copy, rename, share, and delete buttons in the right-click context menu. Ever since the debut of Windows 11, these functions have been hiding in the context menu as icons. And while I finally learned which was which, it took me months to remember. Now, new Windows 11 users won't have to deal with that headache. Text labels are on the icon, so it's quick and easy to find the delete or rename buttons. These are just a few of the new features available to everyone in Windows 11 24H2, so keep poking around to see what else is new in Windows. On a side note, Microsoft is also removing some features of previous versions of Windows from Windows 11. WordPad, Cortana, Windows Mail and Outlook Express, Windows To Go, Home Group, and WebDAV. If any of these tools look familiar to you, now's the time to figure out how you can live without them, because soon you'll have to. You probably won't miss features like Cortana and WordPad, but it's worth knowing about as we gear up for 2025. So that's the new features in the latest update for Windows 11, thank you for listening.